Hey guys, welcome back to Nat One Videos. As you can see, I am currently in the process of building last week's build, but I've gotten to the point in this build where I'm going to be adding some debris and rocks into the project, but I've kind of run out of what I need. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to make a very quick video, slightly tutorial video on how I go about making those things. Okay, so if you've been to the channel before, you will have seen me use these before. Large rocks and boulders, my go-to product is always large pieces of bark. Once this is painted up, it'll look very convincingly like large boulders. For the next size down of rocks and boulders, I really like using this terrarium wood. It comes in a big bag. You can basically grab big handfuls of it and glue them into your project and it looks really, really, really good. It is also very useful whenever it comes to making your smaller rocks and debris and also fine dust to be gluing into your projects. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm just going to blend it with a blender, hopefully while my wife isn't looking. I simply get a bowl and I fill up the bowl to about halfway. One thing to be very aware of is when you use a blender and this stuff, it's going to spit out everywhere. So I get a piece of cardboard and I cut a hole in the center so that it goes around the top of the blender and this stops the bark from spilling out everywhere and really pissing off your wife. Don't worry about damaging your blender. This stuff is softer than nuts. People use nuts in their blenders all of the time. So a little bit of bark isn't gonna do the blender any harm at all. The great thing about blending it up like this is you're gonna get a whole different grade of sizes inside the bowl. Once I'm satisfied that the bark is blended enough, I'm gonna separate out the different grades because you might want to apply these at different times and not just chuck it all on at the same time on your project. So to get the fine dust out of the bark, I basically sieve this onto a large piece of paper. Once you have all of that on the paper, you can fold the paper and funnel it into a container. Then I simply put the rest of the bark into another container and you have two different grades that you can apply to your project at different times. One thing, bark, and you can get large boulders, smaller boulders and rocks, debris, all the way down to fine dust, which you can use for flocking, etc. So there you go, guys. I now have boulders, rocks, debris, fine dust that I can glue into my projects, and that took me all of about five minutes. Really useful and pretty much cheap or free because you can get it from the park if you don't buy the bag. And that's it. So I'm probably gonna do a few more little videos like this over the next month or so, because as always, I'm stuck into another big build that is time consuming and I can't release projects every single week. Um, but yeah, stick around, there are some big builds coming. As always guys, I wanna say a massive thank you to my patrons who are awesome and constantly supporting me. You guys rock. If you're interested in joining Patreon, there's a link to, uh, in the description below and you can come and check out what that's all about. And apart from that, I hope you guys have a really, really good weekend and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.